Hello students, today we are going to study about demonstrative adjectives. Students, uh, kindly open your books, page number 32. And we'll read the topic of learn that's given on this page. Now students, it's written over here that notice the adjectives that are given in color in each of the given sentences, the four given below. Now students, the first sentence says this umbrella is leaky and the second sentence says these cakes are full of vanilla now students as we are studying about demonstrative adjective students so first of all it's necessary that you come to know what do you mean by demonstrative demonstrative means to demonstrate to show so what are we showing in the first sentence, students? We are showing students this umbrella, these cakes, that jacket is from Shimla, that jacket, those soldiers build the bridge, those soldiers. We are demonstrating and emphasizing on these nouns, students. These are nouns. Umbrella, jacket, cakes, and soldiers, my dear students, are nouns over here. So when we are using this, um, when we are saying this umbrella is leaky, students, so we come to know this, that first of all, that it's about one umbrella only. So it's singular in number as given over here in this table, and it's nearby this umbrella so it means that the umbrella is nearby to the person to the speaker it's nearby when we say these cakes are full of vanilla so when we are talking of these cakes students now although the cakes means that it is plural in number as given in plural but it is near near to the speaker, near to the person, these cakes are full of vanilla. Taking the third example, that jacket is from Shimla. So when we say that jacket is from Shimla, so Shimla is something far which is not close to the person. We do not know how far, but we know that it is far from the speaker, from the person. So that jacket is from Shimla. It's taken from somewhere far. So, and uh, it's just one jacket. So it's singular in number and it is far. It's not close. Shimla is far. Now students, taking the fourth example, those soldiers built the bridge. When we say those soldiers built the bridge, we say that the soldiers are plural in number and we are talking of soldiers and soldiers are nouns over here and we are talking of these soldiers. So those is the demonstrative adjective over here demonstrating or telling us about the soldiers over here and they are far. They are not close. They are far. So that is why we are using those which is plural in number and those is also far from the person or the speaker students now students let's come to the next topic which is given on the same page over there and it's the topic of remember students uh, it's given this that these and those can act both as demonstrative adjectives and they can also work as demonstrative pronouns. Now this might be a bit confusing students but you can understand still very easily. Now students as adjectives these four words are followed by nouns. So this is the difference we are easily able to make it out in the demonstrative adjectives it's not just adjectives but in the demonstrative adjective students these four words this that these and those are 
followed by nouns. Now let's see the examples given over here of uh, as demonstrative adjective students. We'll read these four sentences and we'll come to know we'll come to know about these four examples. What is being told over here? Now students, when we say this assignment is on rivers, so the word assignment and the word river are nouns. Assignment is a countable noun and rivers, students, it's common noun. Now when we are saying that book is my favorite, so book over here is a material noun, students, that book. This is a material noun. Taking the third example, these girls are the best players. So when we say girls, it's a common noun. When we say players, it's a common noun. Students, so these girls are the best players. Taking the fourth example, students, when we say those songs are the best known, Students, the word songs over here is countable noun. We can count the number of songs that are best known. They can easily be counted. It's not an uncountable noun, students, because it has some number, although it's not told, but it, we surely know that those songs are the best known. We can count them. So it's a countable noun. Songs over here are countable noun students in the given sentence. Now students, uh, as I just told you that uh, differentiating over here as adjectives, these four words, this, that, these and those are followed by nouns and the nouns over here were specifically, specially uh, assignment, book, uh, girls and songs. But students, let's see what the difference we find over here in as demonstrative pronouns. Students, it's written as pronouns, so it's just not pronouns, it's demonstrative pronouns. Here it was as demonstrative adjectives. Now we'll study as demonstrative pronouns, students. Now taking the first example in these four examples of demonstrative pronouns, students, We'll read these sentences and come to know, read these examples and come to know how uh, the demonstrative adjectives are used over here in these examples. Now to understand these examples, let's read the first sentence what we did. This, that, these and those can act as both, it's written students as both demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronoun students. So this is very important thing over here. So this is the assignment on rivers. That is my favorite book. These are the best players. Those are the best songs. Students, I hope that you are able to understand what I explained. With this, I come to the end of this video. Thank you.